Hello everyone. In this video session, I'm going to explain part 142 of Java for tester series. That is random method of math class. What is this random method? Random method is one of the predefined methods of math class in Java. Math class in Java has different predefined methods. And this random method is one of them. Random method is one of the predefined methods of math class in Java. So what is the purpose of using this random method? The purpose of this random method is to return some random value. Okay. When you run this random method, okay, it will return you some random value. Let's say when you run this random method for the first time, it may return some X value. And if you run the random method, the same random method for the second time, it may return some other value, some random value, Y will be returned. Like this guys, no matter how many times you run this random value, you keep on getting some random values, okay? Random method will return some random value when executed, okay? So what is the range? What is the range in which this random method will return these values? The range is, starts with 0.0, .0 guys, and greater than 0.0, .0 till, less than 1.0 okay 0, 0.0 to less than 1.0 so the range will range is a positive range guys okay positive range all the positive values will be returned and all these values are decimal values okay there are of decimal values guys uh, which starts from 0, 0.0 and greater than 0, 0.0 till less than 1.0 this is the range for example at one point of time it may return you 0 0.1 and when you run the same random methods for the other time, it may return you something like 0 0.56, okay? And 0 0.95, it can be anything guys, 0 0.99 also, 0 0.99, okay? Like this, each and every time you run this random method, it will return you these different types of decimal values in this range of 0 0.0, greater than 0 0.02, less than 1.0 equal to and greater than 0 0.02 to less than 1.0 is a range. So let me practically show you guys how to use this random method so that it can return you this kind of values. So in order to use, we have to first type down, we have to write down the math class, okay, math class and say math dot, then type random guys, okay. Then you will get this math method known as random method, math dot random. What is the return type of this random method guys? When you hover the mouse on this random method, it will return you double, okay? Double A is equal to. So when you run this random method for the first time, it may return you some random value within the said range and store into this variable A. And when you try to print this system dot out dot print, when you try to print this variable A, the random value returned by this random method will be stored into this variable A, will get printed guys. Let's see guys, we'll run this same program multiple times and see whether we are getting different random values or not okay in each and every run let's run this for the first time right click on this uh, program and say run as java application you got some value as 0 0.7097 okay let's uh, put that here okay this is the value we got for the first run guys now let's run the same program for the second time guys right click run as java application 0 0.736 okay is this two values same guys no 0 0.70 0 0.73 both are different guys okay let's run it again right click run as job application you see you got 0 0.50 for the third one you got this okay now run it again right click run as job application 0 0.41 something we got you see every time the range is the values are decimal values and they are positive values. They are not, there, there is no negative value here. And all these values are within the range of 0 0.0 to less than 1.0, right? So, but guys, this random value will not be helpful for us, okay? Until it is in like a normal value. For, for example, I want to, I want to print the random values within the range of uh, 0 to less than 10 something like this okay 0 to less than 10 i want to print what i have to do or i want to print the random values within the range of 0 to less than 100 
or I want to print the random values in between zero to less than thousand, whatever it is. Okay, like this, I want to print. How to do it, guys? How to do this? So in order to get the range like this, instead of this range, if I want to get this kind of realistic range, then I have to multiply this. Okay. So I have to say a into a into ten. What will happen, guys? When I say a into ten, okay, whatever the this kind of values we are getting, I am multiplying by ten. So this seven will come before seven point zero. It will become instead of zero point seven zero. It will become seven point remaining things. Okay, let's run this, guys, and see what's happening. Right click, run as job application. You see, you got three point something. Three point something you got. When you run it again, this time you get some zero point three eight. Let's run it again. Right click, run as job application. Five point something you got. Right click, run as nine point something. Like this, different values you are getting, guys. Okay. Now I don't want this decimal value, guys. I only want this nine. Okay. I don't want this remaining values. Okay. So how to do that? For that, have to cast this value. Okay, a into ten. I have to cast it, guys. How to cast it? So I will say something like this: a into ten. Okay, a into ten. This will return you this kind of values, and I want to store this into an integer, like int b is equal to. So definitely, this will give a compiler error and ask you to cast it. Okay, here I have to say int of. Okay, casting I am doing int of a into ten. So now if i print b here okay after casting if i print b here the decimal will value will not be this decimal value will not come guys okay here a into 10 is let's say a into 10 is this value okay 9 point something now you are casting it as int so all this decimal value will be ignored and only this 9 will be assigned to the variable b here when you print b here only that 9 will be printed in that case if i run it i will be getting random values guys so let's see whether i am getting whatever i am expecting okay that is The range zero to less than ten I want to get. So whether I am able to achieve or not, right click, run as job application. I got zero. That's fine. Run as job application. Again zero I got. It's very random, guys. So I'm uh, frequently getting zero. There's something going wrong. A into ten casting. Then B should be working fine, guys. So Match dot random. Every time I am getting zero. I don't know why. So maybe here I am not doing some. I am doing something wrong, guys. Okay, maybe I will put some brackets here. A into ten. Okay, and let's try it again. Right click run as job application. I got this. Okay, now I am getting proper values. Maybe there is some while casting. This is casting directly and then multiplying by ten. That's that may be a problem, guys. Okay. So now, after putting the brackets like a into ten, then after casting it, then I am getting proper values. Right click run as job application. Eight I got. Right click run as job application. Two I got. You see, I am getting the values from zero to less than ten. Okay, but not ten. Like this. Okay. Every time I run this program, I am getting a random value. Okay, within the range of zero to less than ten. Now, what if I want the values to be in the range of zero to less than hundred? In this case, guys, you have to multiply this a. The random value return is stored into this a, guys. You need to multiply that value with hundred, guys. Instead of ten, you have to multiply with hundred and cast it to in, so that you will get the same kind of results. Now, the range will increase, guys. I got eighty-two within the range of zero to less than hundred. Okay. If I run this again, right click run as job application. I got sixty. Right click run as job application. I got 91 like that. What if I want to have the range with zero to less than thousand? I have to add one more zero here. A into thousand, then cast it to int. Fine. Let's run this and see whether I am getting the range values or not. You see 465 within the range of zero to less than thousand. Like that, guys. You will keep on getting the random values when you run this program multiple times. And uh, in real time, we generally expect this kind of values, guys. Okay. Values which are in the range of zero to less than ten or zero to less than hundred, zero to less than thousand, like that. Okay, that's why we have to implement such kind of programs where random method will return some value and you have to multiply that value with either ten, hundred or thousand, then cast it with int so that you will get the proper value without any decimal point, then print that value. 
okay so this is how guys we have to use random method of math class in java so that's it guys in the next video session i'll explain about packages in java okay i'll explain about packages concept so that's it guys see you in the next video session thank you bye